think camera's necessary. <laughs> I had support. I had support under there, and it was insufficient. Dad, look, so when it slapped the ground, it just popped down. Like that. I'm so sorry. Yeah, me too. Well, we all kind of knew this wasn't gonna last very long. All right. Well, as you saw, the snowball kind of bit it. Turns out the blue foam on blue sky is not the uh, best combination. I've decided to revive my Piper Cub. I got this uh, three-channel. Uh, J3 Piper Cub from Exceed and it never flew. The thing was totally underpowered and I guess it was tail heavy or something like this because it always just it'd get up off air, do one of these numbers and come down so uh, I wound up scrapping it and uh, so what I did is I, I cut the nose off here you know and I got uh, I got one of them stick motor mounts plugged off in here under here and it's, it's not held on there very good so I'm kind of thinking that if my landings aren't perfect, I'm going to have to be gluing this motor in over and over again. Um, I cut a little access panel here and I stuck my new receiver in here. The old receiver was a big bulky thing that went up underneath the wing here. And uh, I've got the wings fixed in because I went ahead and added ailerons to the Piper. I uh, want to thank Mikey's RC for helping me figure out how to wire those things. So they came out pretty good. They're working. And... Uh, Use me. Use the hot glue hinges like I learned from uh, Utah Flyers, and I got. Uh, I'm using dowel rods for for push rod extensions through the plane, and I just use some glue and some heat shrink tube. Um, I'm using pretty much everything else on the plane is stock. Uh, the servos for the elevator and the rudder are stock, and then I'm using these uh, Hextronics nine gram servos for my elevators, and uh, I had to gouge out some place for the battery underneath here and there's a nice little panel that closes up over here and uh, I've just got a couple of blocks of foam that I can use to sandwich the battery in and I can move the battery back and forth I mean this is all I got to work with though and I, I'm thinking it's still going to be a little tail heavy um, so anyway there's a major storm brewing right now so I'm not going to be able to put this thing up in the air but uh, as soon as I do we'll get a video